everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Auction Not Included, everyone's favorite space colony management game. Ugh, oh, it's a new day. I hope everyone's having a good morning or evening, wherever you are. Um, I'm a little distracted, I have to be honest. Today, they announced the uh, pre-alpha, or the alpha version of the new DLC, and I'm super stoked about it. But um, we're not going to be able to play that right now, so we'll hold off, and we're just going to have to wait until we get an invite. But I'm really looking forward to working on that. In the meantime, until that decides to show up, let's continue working on our hatch farm, shall we? We'll keep this project going. We're going to um, also keep working on our metal refineries. This is actually looking really good, as far as I'm concerned. Except for, oops, looks like we have a little bit of a coolant issue up here. Uh, they'll take care of that eventually. All right, sweet. Well, let's see if we can't get this thing up and running here. We have a qu quite a bit of work to do. And all in all, this is super exciting. I'm really happy about what's going on in the base right now. Hopefully we can get this playthrough done. I'm actually a little worried about that with the um, if the DLC changes the base game. Kind of like how I'm thinking it's going to then. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're just going to take it one episode at a time and see what happens. Hopefully we get an invite soon and we can we can plan around it. Okay. Great. Great, great, great. What else is going on here? Oh, these guys are finally putting in all their artwork in the in Great Hall. That's excellent. And we do have nine duplicates technically, but we only have eight Atmos suits. Well, let's see. Let's fix this, shall we? We've been needing to work on this a little bit anyway, so let's just go ahead and just get this party started here. We're gonna go ahead and extend this a little bit. One, one two, three. Go there. We'll go ahead. We need to add oxygen to all these pipes, and then we'll go ahead and I guess plan this other one out as well. Sure, why not? And that can go there when we're ready. Perfect. All right, cool. And then also, let's finally let's let's address this, shall we? Also, let's soup this up while we're waiting. Um, what we want to do is. We actually need to actually put in. <laughs> we need to put the pumps in. We never did this. We need to put the pumps in for all of our oxygen. So let's go ahead and start this project. Um, how do we want to do this? I think what I'm going to do is stick this here and here, and then we can put sensors along the way. Those two there. This atmosphere sensor is fine for this one. And then, oh wait, are we going to run into, where's the automation wire on the pump? The automation wire for the pump is on the left, so, and then these automation wires are, okay, great. We're, we're in good shape. Somebody made a mess. Oh no. Oh my God. Are we, are you serious right now? Are we going to lose somebody else? Oh my God. This is bad. We, this whole space. Oh God. We're like double stuck. One, two, one, two, three. Somebody, oh, this is so bad, guys, this is terrible. Oh, I'm so upset right now. Oh my god, this is the worst. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Please run, run like the wind. Run like the wind! Go, be free. Oh god, can we get down this hill? Oh, it's gonna be close, guys. Oh, okay. Um, and there's oxygen up here. Okay, Emma looks to be... Okay, jeez Louise. Holy crap. That is so scary. You know? We really need to be careful up here. Like, jeez. Okay, alright. Well, that, that was a early... <laughs> <laughs> an early episode heart attack that we were not expecting. All right, anyways, so back to what we were trying to do here. What we want to do is we're going to have this sensor here. We'll put this sensor... Hmm, you know what? I might put it right here. Uh, it doesn't really matter, actually. i put it underneath. It's still going to be within, like, the same radius of these other pumps, so that's fine. So these pumps will drive 
this first set of atmosphere docks, and then we'll put in two more pumps that are going to drive the next set of atmosphere suits. Um, we could leave these ladders here and just put the pumps kind of like in between. Yeah, why not? Something like this. Okay. Which means now, oh, this is exciting. We can come. Yeah, we'll bring this pipe this direction. And we'll bring it down. I think we can safely remove this. I don't think we're going to have any other bad gases in here. So maybe we'll take out this filter and everything that's right now. Right on in here. This is fine. We'll take that out. And then I think there's some automation here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Okay, let's deconstruct all this automation. All of this stuff can come out. Okay, so that can get put in. Perfect. Um, <laughs> well, we do have a slight automation issue, but that's okay. We'll um, we'll work around it. We have a bridge here. All right, let's make sure we can hook this sensor that we are not going to move up to this pump up here. So all that can get done. Perfect. And then we'll start bringing these atmospheres online. Oh god. MIP'd everywhere. We should get the sweepy over here. This is what we should do, you know. Um, hello. We want to clean it. Okay. That can get done. Great. Anything else? Um, and then we also need to run a second set of piping. And then this piping is going to go into this other set of atmospheres. I mean, we might be able to get away with this. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 atmospheres. If we're sending full packets on this pipe, maybe these two pumps will be able to do do the work here for us. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll prepare for the inevitable, which is that we're going to have to add a whole bunch more automation in here at some point, so that is a-okay. That can all get put in, and then we're gonna need power over here as well. How much is on this line? This is a cool two, cool 1.14 watts, kilowatts. And we'll extend this power line down over here. Nice, all right, cool. And then we'll do the same for this one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then what's on this line? Oh wow, this is just... Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's just dedicate this whole line for power, shall we? You know, or for... Yeah. Anything related to oxygen. Because then... You know, if something goes bad, we can always sever power to most of the base, but keep critical life support online. Let's hope that never happens. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right, sweet. Well, if they can get that put in, that'd be lovely. And then we can put, extend, I'm just gonna hook this up to this, this double pump that we're putting in right here. And we'll take this one out. And shoot. This is looking really good, gang. I don't know how we're gonna run a second pipe in here though. We might have to drop this one down into this room and then repurpose this one for these, these back atmosphere suits, you know? I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Let's see what happens when we hook up these other pumps first, and then we can always move it later. That means that we'd have to move the bridge. Oh no. <laughs> well, you win some, you lose some. What can we say? Okay. Ugh, I'm still having my coffee today. And, um, hey, do we need it? Okay. Man, this is looking really good. And then like all of this work is getting done finally. We got the sage hatch out. Some of you were saying that we still had a hatch stuck in the door, but I think um, I think we addressed that issue. Maybe, maybe we didn't, I don't know. Maybe we have a, a new elephant in the room that we need to attend to. Uh, we want to get all these digging jobs done. Can we have our digger? The dear digger. Sweat Lord. Oh God. <laughs> wow, this is so precarious. Like for crying out loud. All we want to do is get a little gold. Jeez. All of these dig jobs we want to get done. 
All right, so once one of these pumps is online, then we're going to take apart the old one, right? Like, this can just run. We, we really don't care. Like, these, all of our builders are going to be a little gr grumpy, though, because they're going to have pop eardrums up here. But you know what? I'm okay with that, you know? We need you to do great things. We need you to do all of the great things. All right, sweet. And we're off. So this oxygen is going to take over this pipe. So let's go ahead and move this one. Right? That can get put in there. This this pipe can come out. Oh, uh, we have enough oxygen. It's fine. Let's clean this other this old stuff up. So that can come out. We have some automation wire we need to trim up. We need to trim this out. And we have a power line we need to clean up as well. So we will get all that taken out. Awesome. All right, cool. I mean, this is, all this work has been, frankly, long overdue. So I'm glad, I'm glad that it's finally getting done. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know what we could do? And mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. But we could run this oxygen through these farm tiles and bring it back around. I don't know about that. That seems like a bad, a recipe for disaster. But who knows? Maybe we'll maybe we'll do that. As long as this oxygen is not overheated, right? It's twenty four degrees. We can totally do that, and it will. <laughs> I we might we might really mess up here at some point, but we can bring this back around like that. And then this can run the the additional atmospheres that we decided to put in here. All right, cool. And then, wait, do we have gold running up here by chance? Um, no, but we can make it up here. Yeah, we can make we can make gold up here. I feel like they can't reach this. It's very unusual that a a digger does not want to dig, but we do have some other dig jobs going, so maybe, maybe that's what's going on. Okay, gang, get to build it. Let's get this all put in. And then we're pretty much good to go now. Um, all we need to do is we'll take this rock crusher out. This can come out of here. Um, the exosuit forge. Okay, so we need, how many additional atmospheres do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight plus nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need minimally six more. So go ahead and somebody get somebody working on that right now. We're also going to have to hook all this up into power, which this power line is morbidly obese at the moment. If we can think about bringing additional power over here for all of this material, and then we can split out all this cooking and food related things. So this, let's just go ahead and start planning that. Oh, that's going to go right through this natural gas area that's not good well we need more power that will peel this stuff off yeah yeah this is unfortunate okay so we're not ready to really deal with this yet over here or are we hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna have to save that for another time okay well we can at least chuck one more on there, right? Once we take all this stuff off of here that doesn't need to be here anymore, like the this rock crusher, the exosuit forge, we can move. We can move some of this stuff. Hold on. What do we have on where? So something like research, for example. Let's just look at that for a moment. I want to keep food cooking and things down in this area, but like the exosuit forge could totally move. That doesn't need to stay there anymore. The suit dock, we'll get a new suit dock put in here. All right, so up, up in this little area here, I'm gonna go ahead. We're just gonna configure one of these just to make gold for right now. We're trying to make gold storage bins and stuff like that and get that online, but it's proving to be slightly more complicated than we want. Um, guys, I might actually open this up right here and pump this water into this metal refinery, you know? 
We want to continue our quest to get as much steel as possible. How much do we have at this point? We have 700 kilograms. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. Maybe we should do this natural gas vent. And at least get it ready to go. Because then, A, we would have natural gas. But also, on top of that, we would be able to um, chuck that steel pump in here. You know what I'm saying? And then just let that go. And then whenever we decide to hook up natural gas generators, we have it all already. Maybe we'll do that. I want to keep the steel train going if we can. So maybe... Maybe what we'll do is we'll... Let's stick a fluid pump up here. Oh, what a piping nightmare this is. Okay, yeah, we're going to stick a fluid pump up here. And... All right, we're gonna just run a temp pipe. We'll take this all apart at some point, you know. We'll run this all the way up here, like so. And then we already have power here, so that can get hooked up like that. And then we just need a way to get in here. So we can take this tile out and they should be able to hop down and do work. Okay, so. That should be able to pump additional stuff into our metal refinery so that we can keep steel continuing to be made. It's great. And then hopefully, if they would just dig these tiles out, geez, maybe there's a problem here. Let's figure out what's going on. I mean, they're so keen on doing all this other work. Why do they not want to dig this out? We do have a bunch of other dig jobs we're doing. Maybe we just don't, are people just not, don't care about digging? Is that what it is? So we have this digger. Locrin is ready to take another skill point. We'll get Locrin on the dig jobs. Go ahead and get that. Emma is looking good. Ooh. All right, we'll have her do plumbing. And then how about, let's double check the skills here. Emma, does Emma care about digging? Yes, Locrin cares about digging now. All right, we'll have to sort out some priorities here a little bit later, but this is all looking really good. Oh, wow. Well, we have oxygen. Look at that. <laughs> all right, sweet. So I'm just going to hook these up. We'll sort out some of the uh, additional power requirements here in a little bit. And then let's set these up to deliver docks. Or deliver these suits to these docks. Okay. Looking good, folks. Alright, sweet. So we'll get all this swept in. And then that will allow us to get some people out of the base. That'll be nice. What do we have in the, um, the blueprint machine? Let's see. We have ice. Uh, we'll take some ice. Why not? Let's take the ice. We just need a place to put it. <laughs> so we'll stick it out here. Oh, that's exactly where we're putting it. All right, that's cool. We'll sweep all this up as well. Excellent. Man, everything is coming together. This is really good. So, what else is left to be done around here? We're pumping more coolant into our metal refinery. We're trying to get some more steel here. We want to get enough so that we can get at least a aqua tuner. And hopefully, one of these glossy dreckles will hatch. And we can get a little bit of plastic. We just need enough to start getting a steam turbine put in. If we can get a aqua tuner and a steam turbine put in, I will be super stoked about that. Okay, it's a new cycle. It's a new day. Let's see here. We want to get some tanks put in. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We need a tank here. We're building a amount of steel because this room is going to be spicy hot. Go and get that put in. We're going to need um, a liquid shutoff valve here, right? Because we're going to say, yes, this is where we're putting that. Okay, so now this radiant pipe, oh, right there. We'll run this radiant pipe into here. All right, so if it is the temperature that we want, so we'll put a thermo sensor on here. Steel is super overkill for this, but you know what? Let's keep it consistent. And 
can go there. Okay, so what we're gonna say is, if the temperature is, you know, low enough, we're going to run that into a new tank that we're gonna build out of steel here, when whenever we get the next set of steel. Otherwise, we're going to run that, oh shoot, that's an insulated pipe here. We wanna run um, radiant pipe here, and we're gonna keep this loop going. We already have a bridge right here, but I think maybe for the sake of making sure things always are flowing the right direction, I think I might put a bridge here just, just to keep the, the direction going the right way. Okay, great. And then if it is temperature we want to keep, we'll run insulated pipe, and then it can go into the tank that we'll build right here at some point in time, which means that this is going to be our resupply for all the metal refineries. Oh. Dang, we are so close. This is amazing. How are we doing here? We have 150 steel left over. Okay, so we'll see if we can't get some more made. I have a feeling that our bottleneck is lime, so we might need to go... We might need to go down into the oil biome and dig out a little bit of fossil. You know what I'm saying? FRD dot, can we speed you up, buddy? No, not quite yet. But, Nolan Veth, we can give you an additional skill point. All right, sweet. Yeah, maybe we'll punch our way down here and see if we can't find some fossil. There is a little bit right here. Look at this. Oh, and there's crude oil right there. Okay, should we... Do we care about all this pea water that's right here? <laughs> um, do we have more oil somewhere? We do have oil right here. Wait, is there... Oh, look at all this fossil over here. Oh, sweet. Oh, and we have like kind of a, a hole to get down here too. Um, yeah, let's let's run over here and grab this gang. How hot is this? It's 77 degrees. Okay. That's alright. That's alright. Okay, let's let's come down here and get this. So we need to go. How are we gonna do this? We'll just dig like a little some little jumping stations here, you know? It's gonna be quite the lift until we decide to put more permanent infrastructure in. But I'm okay with that. And then they can come over here and want to do do. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see here. We want to. Actually, I'm gonna come right across here. We can grab all of this material right here, all in one shot. Okay, so then I hop down. They can grab that. We'll dig this out and then we'll double back and grab this other stuff. So they should be able to hop. Perfect. Okay, let's see if we can't get this done. Man, if we can get that fossil, that would really springboard things a little bit. All of this is coming together. This is amazing. Okay, so how are we going to run power to this area? That's kind of the bigger question that I've been trying to figure out myself. So, for the time being, what we can do is we'll just stub out all of our power requirements, you know? And this... It's going to be here, it looks like. We'll stub out all the power requirements that we're going to need, and then we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get power into all these areas here. Okay, we're going to need power for all of this and run that over like that. See, this we might actually bring it down. We might run a power line specifically through here just for the ranching on this side. It's it's not really that bad of an idea either. Okay, let's see if we can't get this stuff dug out. Because then we can get the our faux ceiling put in. <laughs> oh. For our stone ashes, these poor guys. And then we can start oh, hey, wait, how did this Oh he jumped down. He jumped down. Okay, let's get this put all all put in. We'll fix all these priorities here a little bit later. All right, let's disable these buildings for the time being. Make sure that nobody is doing their ranching duties. Oh good, they, they're finally getting this put in. So this is gonna be our drop hit. Let's make sure, oh, no, okay. Yeah, our sizing is right, right? I'm super freaking out. I feel like our room size is off one tile for some reason. I don't think it is, but I'm still paranoid. 
This is all looking splendid. Okay, cool. And then this is set up to take hatches, right? Yep. All right, great. Nice, gang. Um, well, I'm really excited about this. We have more Atma suits now. We have all this other work that needs to get done. We got some pee and poop that we need to sweep off the floor. There's savages everywhere. It's okay. Get that done whenever the time is right. And the hatch farms are coming along quite nicely. So we're going to have to do a pretty big sweep job up here at some point. As long as I get the flooring in for all this stuff, I'll be happy. Um, yeah, okay, so this tile can go in. Our shipping rails are all in, right? Correct. So then this shipping rail needs to extend up here, it looks like. This shipping rail is going to be for coal, so we're going to run this up to... I guess we'll put it, run it through the floor right here? Why not? And then we'll run it over to the... anywhere that we need coal. So, whether it's up in the refinery area, whether it's our coal generators as well, I think that'll be, that would be nice. This is good. Alright, sweet. Anything else that's jumping out that we want to get done? I think this is all looking fine. They're starting to install the last remaining bips and bobs of our infrastructure. Oh, we can finally put our tank in. Okay, great. Actually, you know, I'm really tempted to start running cooling fluid in this whole system. We're going to have to run quite a bit of uh, crude oil up here at some point. So we could start, we could make a little crude oil drop off and start filling the system with it. The only caveat is, is we don't really have a way to cool it quite yet, but that's okay. That is a okay. And then this can all get built. Man, I am stoked about this. Okay. Great. So, power. We have a power requirement that we need to fulfill. So I'm gonna just hook this into this floor right here, right now. And then we'll, we're gonna run power down this hallway anyway, it seems like. So maybe we'll run power down here for this and this little snippet. Although, technically speaking, since we're gonna have aqua tuners in here, we probably want to be careful where we run power because the aqua tuners themselves are gonna have a, a pretty hefty power requirement. This is all looking okay. Wait, isn't there a conveyor rail here already? Unreachable build. No, there is not. Interesting. Alright, let's take this tile out. Just so that we can build there. All of this can get put in. <laughs> Our double floor, because we want to keep things level. Are you kidding me? The things we do. The things we do. <laughs> oh, there's no sense to it. Okay. We'll get this insulated tile put in, and... I think that's it, okay. We're gonna seal this thing up. This is this is the hatch farmer root. This is the right size, right? One, two, five times four. Yeah, okay. All right, sweet. Well, let's go ahead and start putting in some of these other miscellaneous pieces that we need. I need a couple tiles here and there that can all get built. And then these granite tiles can get built as well. And then we get, we'll have to like re-wrangle this hatch out of here, right? Unless he's lucky enough that he ends up on the left side. I can't imagine that's going to be the case. He's totally going to be on the wrong side. Oh, Silicon, you might get it. <gasps> oh, dang. That was so close. And then we can start cleaning this thing out. Oh. All right, we're, I'm not going to try to control this. We're just going to let him do it whenever they have free time. You know, we can get all this out of here. We have a lot of cleaning we're going to, have to do. And then this tile can get put in as well. Cool. All right. Do work, my friends. And then we'll dig this top out so that we can finish the rooms and get the room bonuses. Sweet. Man, it's looking pretty good, gang. Um, what else needs to be done? I think... I think this is most of it, if I'm honest. We'll go ahead and dig this material out. It's gotta it's gotta get taken out of here anyway. 
And for now, I'm just gonna run this hallway down all the way because at the end of the day, we're going to put a, a water drop in here. We're gonna we're gonna drown all of our extra pets. And we'll have to coordinate what that room's gonna look like. I'm not sure what's worse. The fact that we have a double floor right here just to stay level with this hallway or that we've made these rooms inconsistent in height. <laughs> Dang it. Ugh, the worst. All right. <laughs> all right, let's see what else. This is all looking really good. Man, the hatch farm's coming along quite nice. So we still have a power problem, and I guess that's maybe the next thing that we're going to have to address. What I think I'm going to do is let's queue up. Let's queue up the construction of a, a little area over here for a water lock, if we can. And that way, you know, we can get in here and do this work. So that we can, um, you know, start bringing this natural gas online. We're going to have to like leave an opening here, though. But we'll hop over here. We'll also, we'll put a door in as well when the time is right. Like, this this can just be a door for right now. Um, we could use a mechanized air lock. Why not? Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Um, sure, why not? It'll look fancier. Cool. And then we just need a bottle emptier of sorts over here. And we can spill some stuff in here. I'm gonna take this tile out actually. Oh, actually, oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Well, let's let's hold off on that. Nah, it's not gonna matter. There's already water here is what I was thinking. We'll take that out and then we're gonna put a bottle empty right here. We'll pour a bunch of water in here and then we can hop in and out, do this work, at least get the pumping put in. And then more importantly, we can run our power line through here when that's all done. So once this is sealed off, we have a bunch of natural gas. What are we gonna do with this? We don't have we don't have any sort of storage systems yet for any type of gases or maybe that's what we'll put in here. Should we put gas storage down here? What else are we gonna want? We're gonna need farming. Where are we gonna put farms? I guess we'll stack farms up over in here, but then we'll be near the industrial area, which this might get a little warm. Maybe we'll put farms down in like this area, maybe. Carbon dioxide, cool steam vent, cool steam vent. Hmm, okay. Oh good, and they're almost down here to this fossil? Great. It says that they can still reach down here. I'm a little skeptical, <laughs> if I'm honest. Look at, look at how terrible of a, of a run this is, you know? Sweet, all right, cool, well. This is all looking really good, gang. Uh, let's get some tiles in here. We're gonna need to seal the ceiling off here. And we, I'm just gonna seal this, like block all this out, I think. And then we'll put the ceiling on right there. So what are we saying here? If this is above, if this is above something, we want to close this door and open this door, is what we're saying. So I can go there. And then we need a knot gate. That's gonna like flip back. All right, let's hold off on, they can just climb over the top right now. I guess it's fine, yeah, well, they can just climb over the top. Um, We'll get this put in and then we just need to make sure that we don't lock anybody in here. I guess if worst case scenario, they'll they'll fall out the bottom. I don't know. It depends on what the dupe does, I guess. They might get pushed out the bottom. But we'll get that put in. That's um that's gonna look really good. And then that will be our critter dropper at some point. We'll put we'll have to like plan our like little fluid pit here that we're gonna build. Which we're gonna need some automation for. We're gonna need. Let's make sure that the water pit is three tiles wide. 
and we'll fill this up with water at some point. We might have done this a little premature, but that's okay for now. Let's get this stuff swept out of here, because then it'll fix the pressure plate situation. And those tiles can get put in. Perfect. Okay, great. Well, this is all coming along quite nice. I really am happy with our progress. Man, I'm really pumped about the DLC. I have to, like, I'm super excited about it. Hopefully we can get through as much of this playthrough as possible. And it might be the last rocket we send to the Temporal Terror Gang, you know? I mean, we don't know. I, I'm eagerly looking forward to finding out more information about it and seeing if there even is a Temporal Terror in the future. So, a lot of speculation going on, but I, all in all, I think, um, I don't know, it's going to be really nice to, oh god, this is freezing up here. Oh no, we need, somebody, oh god. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize it was that cold up here, dang, that sucks. <laughs> well, I guess we'll upgrade that power line, or um, water pipe, anyway, let's insulate it, hopefully that'll hold. Keep that at bay for a little while longer. Yeah, we really need this. We just need them to come down here and dig this lime out. Oh, good. Or fossil. Good. And then let's queue this up too. Fossil to lime. Okay, we've discovered fossil. Now we can start smashing it out. So let's go ahead and do that. All this can get pumped. Wonderful. Replacing those pipes. Man. What a day. I am so excited that we got this set up. So we're going to say if this is above, below, sorry, if the temperature in here is below, I don't know what we want to run the temperature of this room at. 150 degrees? Do we want to run this whole room at 150 degrees Celsius? I think that's, that's not too bad. This is going to be refined metal. We're going to have iron going into this one. So iron can get tucked away in here. This is steel. This is iron. Great. Eventually we'll get some more gold and we'll get one set up for the gold metal refinery and one for the copper metal refinery. And then we'll put in auto sweepers and everything like that to pick it up. This is really great. All right, gang. I think that this is a great spot to stop today. So that is going to wrap things up for today's episode. A big shout out to all my subscribers and people who donate to the channel and the stream. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do this. And it's been a lot of fun. If you are enjoying the series, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified of future videos. And as soon as I know more about the DLC, we will be making some content for it. Super stoked about that. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.